Get ready with me while I tell you about how I got kicked out of my friend group over a boy. So in order to tell the story to the best of my ability, we're going to have to start from the very beginning. This is the Elf Hydration Toner and talk about how I met this boy in specific. So I met these two girls my sophomore year, maybe freshman year, and they were sisters and one of them was dating my crush. And she knew that he was my crush and he even said that he likes me back, but she dated him anyway. That's kind of weird on both of their parts, but I digress. I just used my bubble. This one is closer. These sisters, one of them was obviously older and the other one was younger. I got really close with the younger sister. She was like everything that I wanted to be, okay? This girl's bubbly. She was into like the pop culture and I was kind of the weird kid. <laughs> Your girl was kind of quiet, kind of listened to rock music, you know. That was the LA Pro Concealer in a light ivory with a hair on it. You get the whole you know your girl was weird and they were like the only people that wanted to be my friend they ended up being best friends i just used my dirty real technique sponge and then we're gonna use the mac face and body for foundation to this day i am convinced that these girls like actually hated me and were like plotting against my death okay all of this information ties together i promise the particular night in question these girls had planned for us to have a little girls night you know at the movies and i'm thinking okay let's have a ball the older girl is dating my crush as i said before and the younger girl who is the one that i was closest too that I want to be like is dating some guy from another school so I'm the only single one I forgot to say the foundation was c3 and then this is a shark tape tape I can't say that word shark tape tape shape tap 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 heart shape tape with another hair on it this is the ultra creamy one and this one is in medium town Sam so I agree to go with these girls and then they let me know that they're gonna hook me up with a date and now I didn't ask for a date or anything and they weren't even bringing their boyfriend so I don't even understand why why is this fan not working but I guess I'm just gonna fan myself don't buy this fan from you but they decided that they were gonna set me up with a friend of theirs whom I have never met who wanted to meet me to this day I have no idea how this man even knew what I looked like or who I was I don't know if he saw a picture of me on social media if they showed him a picture no idea but regardless he liked what he saw and they said that I would like what I saw I should have asked okay this is the LA colors highlighter but I like to use it as eyeshadow but I should have asked these girls for a picture of this man, but I digress. You girl is a people pleaser, so I agreed to meet with this boy. At this point in my life, I was kind of into the like mysterious like skateboarder type, and these girls told me, oh yeah, like you'll like him, he's cute, he's totally your type. But I don't know where these hairs are coming from. These ones look like they're cat hair. Now, because of this, I got kind of excited, even though I had no intentions on going to see a movie and having my two friends be second and third wheels, I still went along with it. My mom dropped me off at the theater and when I tell you guys I see this guy and I gasp. I'm not someone who judged someone based off of how they look but my friends had this whole picture in my mind that he was like this mysterious like skater boy you know and he walks out and this guy is like a legit cholo like uh, this is the LA girl concealer in the color toast this man was walking out with his head up like this swaying his arm and kind of walking with a limp but he doesn't actually have a hurt leg let me just point that out you can totally tell that this man was like a wannabe gangster his whole existence just gave me like an ick and mostly it was because he thought he was all that and he just wasn't my friends were legit trolling me ah! God, I dropped my claw. I hope I didn't break it. But it's not broken because they knew if they could lure me there, even though he wasn't my type and they told me that he was my type, that I was nice enough to give him a chance anyway. I freaking loaded up this blush. Boy, were they right. Your girl was a people pleaser and I sat through this entire thing. I mean, we watched a movie. I can't remember if we did anything afterwards. I just remember this man talking about himself the entire time, asking me like no questions about myself. I honestly had like no choice but to sit there. I was like 15. What was I going to do? Drive away in my Tesla. After the date, thank God this man didn't try to kiss me because we were like 15 years old. He ended up getting my phone number somehow. I can't remember if I gave it to him because <laughs> people pleaser or if my friends gave it to him. Either way, this man texted me afterwards and we ended up texting for like weeks or months after. This is the Elf HD translucent powder. After the texting, this man still liked me and I still wasn't interested. She wasn't really being flirty or anything. So I couldn't even give him a sign that I wasn't interested. He ended up asking me out and I, as a people pleaser, said yes. I wanted to please my friends. I wanted to make him happy. Everyone <laughs> but your girl. Because of the fact that like, I had been texting him for some time and he seemed to be somewhat normal was the only reason why I agreed to please him and my friends. These are the Ardell Demi Whispies. I'm just kind of cutting them because they're a little too long for my tape. If things shouldn't have been downhill for me already, they get worse. This man, after asking me to be his girlfriend, 
completely changes and becomes completely unhinged. This is just the duo glue. It's the black, like dark one or whatever. The only good thing about this man was he called me baby girl, but he did call me a lot of other names too. So stay tuned. Let me tell y'all, this man fat shamed the hell out of me, okay? Not only did he fat shame me, but he didn't just call me a fatty. He called me a fat B on multiple occasions. I remember a couple of times I had an older stepsister and I don't know how he got his number. I probably gave it to him like in case of emergencies, but he would text her if I didn't text him back within a few minutes. My friends did know about the fact that this man would verbally mm, me. You know, I can't say that word on YouTube, but I don't know if they just didn't believe me. I'm pretty sure that this man admitted to doing it or if they just kind of dismissed it and made excuses for it. Either way, I got tired of it and I decided to break up with this man. And I told my friends beforehand that I was breaking up with him. Let me tell you about these shady Too Faced bees. They acted like in my face that they understood the reason why I was breaking up with this man and that they didn't want me to break up with him, but they understood why. So I broke up with him and I came to school the next day. For added context, I do wanna add that I did break up with this man via text message, but womp womp, the names that this man was calling me was almost my 13th reason why. I also did lie to him as to why we were breaking up. Now, I don't know why I didn't just tell him like, hey, like you cuss me out all the time and you're super clingy. You text my sister if I don't respond to you when I'm at school where I don't even have service. We had like a cell phone blocker at my school. So, mm. and he knew this. But I lied and said that it was because of my dad. My dad did not like this guy like at all. My dad didn't even know like the whole backstory. My parents' room was right beside my room. So maybe he like overheard a conversation or something we had on the phone. I told him it was because of my dad. Now, I can't remember if I told him it was because my dad didn't like him or if I told him that it was because my dad didn't want me to have a boyfriend anymore but that's the reason I told him and my friends knew that I lied to him about the reasoning which I don't know why I did that so before I broke up with him this is the Meredith Duxbury Morphe collab it's a brow wax I think oh my god another hair like I said these two faced girls the day before I did it and I explained to them why they acted like oh okay you know like they didn't want me to do it but they were okay with it but then when I came back to school after doing it, it was a complete switch up. They after acted completely different towards me, all three of them, which was the sister, the older sister, the younger sister, and then the boyfriend of the girl who, the, the guy that was my crush that <laughs> she took away from me because she knew I liked him and I liked him back. They, all three of them were just acting like they hated me at school. And one day I get a call from a private number or like a blocks number and it's all three of them. They're trying to disguise their voice and say that they're like some kid from the school, but I could totally tell it's them. I've known these people for years and I know their voices. They were just saying about how fat and ugly I am and how nobody likes me and that the only reason why they hung out with me is because they felt sorry for me and that I didn't have any friends and I'm just sitting there like crying on the phone. Just my body was stiff. Oh my god I love how this looks in the corner of my eyes. It's the LA Girls liquid eyeshadow but I like to just Put it right here. This is Mega Glow by Wet n Wild. I love this stuff. I got it from the Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five. I think it hurt me even more that they were pretending to be someone else, and I knew it wasn't like a random kid from the school, and that it was actually like my friend. It's just the fact that they were salty over me breaking up with someone who was verbally in me. You know that word that I can't say on YouTube. What? Now I understand that they were friends with this guy, but if my friends do something wrong, I'm gonna call them out, especially if they were doing it to someone else that I was also friends with. From that point on, I just kind of stopped hanging out with them and took the hint and started hanging out with some of my other friends. I was basically kicked out and bullied out of my friend group. All over a douchey 15 year old boy. I don't know where my sister got this gloss from. It's just a clear gloss from NK Makeup. That's the story about how I got kicked out of my friend group over a boy. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you liked about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't like the video. Don't forget to give it a dislike and a thumbs down and you can still subscribe and tell me what you didn't like about it below here is the finished look if you like shorter content i also post shorts daily don't forget just don't be friends with two shady sisters have a nice life